High school football fans will soon pack the stands. Emily Deem is live at Brilliant High School hanging out with the Lions. Hi, Em. That's right. We're ready for Friday Night Lights. You guys, we're so excited. Next week will be the opening season for the high school football. And today we are with the Br Brilliant Lions out here. And you know, head football coaches really want a perfect season. Well, the Brilliant Lions head football coach got that last season. Pete Kittle is here with me. Good morning, Coach Kittle. How are you? Doing great. Well, I mean, 14-0 can't be that last season. You're coming into a brand new one, though, next week. So tell me your strategies so far. Well, you know, the, the challenge is to try to get the pieces to fit together again, uh, to try to repeat that, take step one. And the first thing you got to look at is how we're going to be prepared for uh, the first game against Chilton. So we scrimmage just Saturday. We'll find a lot of stuff out about our team at that point and uh, see where we go from there. Coach Kittle, you don't only um, come out here and coach about 30 guys. You also have your son on your team with you. Eric Kittle is here with me this morning, a junior out here. Eric, to have your dad as a coach, what is that like? It's really special because we get to share something that we both love and have a great passion for it, so it's fun to be together. You had both, you have two boys, yep. Kyle, he's now in college, yep. and now you have Eric out here. How is it being a father along with his coach? It's, it's going well, you know, they work hard, uh, they get along well with the other kids, which I think is a big part of it, and uh, you try to separate. It's, it's coach here, they get chewed out just like anybody else is, but you have to be careful that uh, that doesn't carry over at home, and you, you can still be their dad at that point. Uh, we got Jordan Mathibi, who is out here with me, split end. You're a senior. This is your last year uh, at the state championship game. Tell me the memories that you have from that and what you're bringing into this season. Well, in the championship game, I scored that touchdown, which was pretty exciting having Will there and having Eric here to <laughs> help give, bring me along or whatever, to help me push myself throughout the season. And, and it's your last season. You're a senior. What are you looking at next? For college, what are you thinking about doing there? Um, well, I think in college I plan on playing baseball because I don't know I like baseball more than probably any other sport, but football's fun too. But the senior year, I'm really nervous for it because it's the last season. The past seniors have been helping me along here, so hopefully I'll have a fun year. Well, great, and good luck to you. Okay, you guys, Eric and Kyle, his brother, Coach Kittle's sons, were ball boys. They started out as ball boys. Well, I got two of the ball boys who are here with me this morning. We have Gunner and Tanner Schlender who are out here with me. Their dad is the defensive coordinator. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> so tell me, you were at the state game last year too. So cool to be there. What was the best part? Um, just being on Camp Randall Field and don't get in the tee. This year I'm gonna be a ball boy. You're going to be a ball boy, and you guys look at your shirts. State champs, what are you hoping for this year? Um, I hope we can go there again and win it again. Do you like being a ball boy? Yes. What's your favorite part? Um, I don't know. You like hanging with your brother, maybe? Sure. <laughs> hey, okay, well, we got some great shirts, Coach 2011. What do you think? We'll see. Day one is next week, Friday, and we'll find out where we are. The kids, you know, they gotta they gotta believe in their, their selves as identity. They gotta make their own team, um, set their own goal, develop who they are as people, and how well the pieces are gonna fit together. And uh, if we can do that, um, you never know what happens. Great. Thanks so much, you guys. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Good luck to those guys. Indeed.